Good to see Machine Gun Charlie. Good evening, Charlie. Charlie Nunovich at ringside this evening. Good players just remaining patrons at Sunday, the 22nd of May, the Battle of the Heavyweights. Sunday, May 22, the famous international Battle of the Heavyweights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 10 rounds for the International Sport Karate Association Commonwealth Professional Super Middleweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is sponsored by Sleep on Betty and Mobile World. Occupying the blue corner, making his debut in Melbourne Town. From Brookvale, New South Wales, with Nick Stone in the corner. 20 years of age with a record of eight counts, five wins, two losses, one draw. Tonight's carrying 78.2 kilograms, with Darren Hitchcock assisting Nick Stone from the Bulldog Gymnasium, Sydney, New South Wales. They call him Mr. Damage Man, Dave McKinnon. Dave McKinnon, wearing white crutch with Bulldog and Red Stars across the ring in the red corner, Jamal Hassan, Claudio Ferrante. From Fort Meadows, Victoria, for the Commonwealth and Australian champion. He's won 18 now, 19 bucks, getting 8.6 kilograms. Wearing black crutch with Red Piping. Would you welcome Chilal Ringside judges, Bruce Haynes, Mark Curry, Lucy Sassoon Tui, your third person, Mr. Joseph Lancian. Contestants for this round, which is another big title fight here tonight at Festival Hall in Melbourne. Coming up to speak, will be spoken to by referee Joe Lanciano. We have the uh, blue quarter fighter Dave McKinnon from uh, Brookvale in New South Wales, weighing in at 78.2 kilos. At uh, G. Lal Ilhan from Broadmeadows in Victoria, weighing in yesterday 80.6. So fairly even but two totally different built guys Bill Hound very stockily built we're a little bit more rangy for the New South Welshman McKinnon McKinnon coming down here with a big reputation and up for grabs right at the moment is the ISKA Commonwealth Professional Super Middleweight title well we've seen Gerald fight many a time and he's got a, uh, uh, a very impressive record and a great technique but uh, I don't know much about Dave McKinnon he's had most of his fights out of New South Wales so I haven't seen many of them, but we'll uh, we'll get to see him now. Very, very fast and aggressive this time. Little hand taking the fight up to McKinnon, who was previously the aggressor. McKinnon trying to step back from him. Absolutely furious pace to start it off with. As we say, weather conditions here in Melbourne tonight reaching around about the 30 degree mark that's around about 85 degrees in the old uh, measure very breaking on again joe lanciano doing the chores here as the third man in the ring uh, have a look at this moves well around the rim this uh, dave mckinnon uses the ring well Oscar, your thoughts well i think um David has, has to um, stick away from him because Gerald does pack a big punch. He's got a nice uppercut and he does work with his hands well. Expert commentary coming from Steve Fontosis and uh, Tosca Petridis. Kinnan stepping back. Obviously realises he doesn't want to get in close and mix it with this man. And have a look at this. A little hand in there, giving him plenty. Oh, 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 oh. Three, uh, the 
end of round number one. Having a quick word uh, to McKinnon about the elbow, but uh, apart from that, fairly even round. And I dare say McKinnon realises that he's up against a powerhouse if it gets in close. Well, I think Gerald's going to, uh, if uh, fitness prevails, I think Gerald's going to be too strong for this kid. Um, he's trying to cut him off. He's trying to get him to work in close because that's Gerald's forte. Very strong in close, especially with those uppercuts, as Tosca was saying. And I think it uh, may be a matter of time, as long as, well, as long as Keith can uh, keep moving around the ring the way he does for seven rounds, maybe he won't catch him, but I have a feeling that he will. So Chalol uh, uses the, uh, the name of Gerald. 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 That's right. Makes it easier. Yes. With no disrespect to his name. That's his Australian name. He's an uh, absolute power. Has twice there. I saw him come to grips. And McKinnon did the smartest thing. He started backing off. He didn't need to mix it with this man. Well, well he has to because um, Gerald, if he sits, sits in with Gerald, he's going to just block his ears off. Yeah. And um, he knows that, so he's got to dance around. He's probably backing on the later rounds to pick off Gerald. So the two of them, we think, possibly evenly matched. It could come down to points. Unless we see Gerald move in there. Gerald in the black trunk, uh, black trunks. And uh, Dave McKinnon in the white trunks. Get it from New South Wales. And Gerald from Broad Meadows in Victoria. Oh, very strong and close. Combination starting to come together. Gerald on the aggression here. Backing him into the red corner. Get it trying everything to back off. Gerald's having no part of this. And McKenna grabbing him there. Referee Joe Leonciano going in there very quickly, breaking them up. Kenneth staying back, trying to pick up points. Long, rangy. Gerald working on the body now. Referee again. Referees tonight certainly earning their money. They certainly are. Not an envious job. They're all starting to land them now. In the blue corner. Big, powerful punches left and right. Kick to the left leg. Kick to the right leg. And he's put him down. So we to the neutral corner. Count being applied. It's over. It's over. Referee has stopped the fight. TKO. Joe Lillahan. Winner for 94. Is gay Commonwealth professional super middleweight title here at Festival Hall tonight. Just too strong, gentlemen. I think Joe, Joe was working up and downstairs brilliantly. He's working his legs and he's coming over to the body for headshots around, up, straight. He's just too, too strong for um, David. Steve. I agree with you, Tosca. I thought, uh, and I thought it was going to be a matter of time after looking at Dave in the first round. There, uh, Gerald would be too strong for him, and it was just a case of him work, cutting him off and getting in close. That's exactly what he did. Very disappointed, Dave McKinnon, also being attended by Dr. Peter Lewis, and uh, I must commend that the association here uh, for their absolute meticulous care of their boxes and uh, it's really uh, supportive to see that they're uh, very keen not to let anything go that might be doubtful. That's right, uh, Peter Lewis is the ice skate prison, he's also the doctor here and um, he always looks after the fighters and um, if someone's if you see someone hurt, he's, he'll go in there and stop the fight And well, I think it was fairly clear in hindsight uh, that in fact McKinnon was hurt Oh he was, yeah up the ringside and the official announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, continuing the great run of Melbourne kickboxers this evening, would you congratulate the new Mr. Commonwealth professional super middleweight champion, Dylan! We say bad luck to Dave McKinnon. Come on, Melbourne, give Dave McKinnon a big round of applause. What very gallantly from 
Brookvale, New South Wales.